How you doing, man? China, Stinky Toddler here. Bring you guys search and destroy on Octane. And this gameplay isn't great by any means. It's all right gameplay. Uh, it was just on my computer, something I can talk over, you know. And also, I want to say I just hit 400 followers uh, last night on Twitch for live streaming. So I want to thank you guys for all following there if you do. Also for subscribing here, obviously. But that's pretty cool milestone that I hit. I feel like I feel like 400 is a really good amount of followers on Twitch. Um, it'd be nice if all of them came and watched, but I know that's not realistic. Uh, but at this point, like, these last couple weeks of streaming have been a ton of fun. I've had great, very, very good interaction. I had a lot of people show up, uh, and enjoy themselves as well. So thanks again, guys. Uh, so let's get to the topic today. And we're talking about Christmas. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm gonna bum you out. <laughs> I don't like Christmas, I gotta be honest. Uh, it's just a little overrated for me. And I mean, I have reasons... And, not like Christmas. I'm not I'm not just one of those guys just hating it for no reason. Um, Christmas is something that's just really so like awkward for me, and that's because and chaotic. Chaotic is a very good word for it, because some of you guys I'm not sure how many of you guys have gone through divorces with like your family, your parents have divorces. I've never been in a divorce, never been married, <laughs> um, but my parents have been divorced since I was like two years old, even maybe even younger. Uh, I think actually younger. They've been they've been divorced forever. My okay, my my stepdad came into my life when I was two, uh, but my parents were divorced. I think even before I was born, and um, so basically, what that means uh, yeah. is that there's four to six yeah, Christmas right. parties that I'm invited to on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and unfortunately, a lot of them inter like over overlap each other, which kind of sucks. But like as a kid, I would be dragged around to. All, drug around all of them. Is that, that the right word? I don't know. Whatever. They would force me to go to all these Christmas parties uh, to see relatives that, first of all, aren't really my true relatives, which is okay. They're cool people, but I don't know their names. <laughs> and like, I'd go to these parties with like big families that I see one to three times a year, um, and I don't know what I don't know them. I really don't know them that well. Uh, and it just it's just kind of an awkward situation for me. Uh, because, I mean, most of these families are really close-knit and tight-knit, you know, so they're all close to each other. But I just have to keep bouncing around to all these one different ones, and I don't know them as well. Um, and it just makes it kind of awkward for me, I would say. And I know a lot of you guys are out there like, you just like a shit ton of Christmas presents. I don't really care that much about that. I mean, as a kid, that was a cool aspect about it. But um, I would rather give up those presents than just be the awkward one. And to give you a good example that I really don't see these guys that much, my uncle, uh, he he's not very good at Christmas shopping. I'm gonna tell you that. What he does is he goes through like a store, grabs things that he thinks looks cool, takes them home, and then decides who's gonna get them. <laughs> That's what it's like. And uh, just to kind of show that I don't know who he thought I was or how old I was or whatever. But when I was 16, he got me two gifts. The first gift was one of those bowl things where you have the tops and you spin them and hit, they hit each other. I'm 16. Those things are made for like 8 year olds. That I'm double. I'm double that. And the other thing he got me is this tic-tac-toe hacky sack game. And I had to open them and I'm just like looking at them like I, I was kind of stunned. I was like, hey, thanks, Mike. These look fun. You know, I, was, I put it on a fake. I obviously wasn't that obvious. I was like, God, thanks, Mike. These are cool. You know, but I mean, I looked at my sister and she was laughing over there. And once Mike leaves, we're done with your presents. She was like, why the fuck would he buy you that? What is, what is he doing? Uh, but that's the type of thing I'm trying to make a point of. These people don't know me that well and I don't know them that well. And like I said, sometimes I don't know their names. When I open a gift, when they do like the drawings for names that you give people, you know, Secret Santa, I think it's called. I'll get this name, and I'm like, I don't fucking know who this is. I don't know how to buy for them. Or then when I open the gifts, it's like, to Ryan from John. I'm like, who the fuck is John? I feel really embarrassed looking around trying to figure out who the fuck John is. Because my stepdad's family is fucking huge, dude. They have so many kids over there. It's like a fucking daycare. Um, but the other thing, too, I just, I just think I think it's overrated Christmas in general. Um, that's cool if you... If you do the holiday for religious wise, but none of my families are really that religious. Parts of the families are. The I'd I'd say there's a few yeah. people in the families. I think my stepdad's family is definitely religious and do it for the religion. But other people just don't just do it just because it's there and it's the holidays. And uh, I mean, people that go Black Friday shopping, like kudos to you. But um, that's just an overrated thing. Like I can't believe that. Sto I mean, that's uh, stores literally make a third of their profits. Some stores do depending on the store. Black Friday is what keep, keeps them in business, and that's happy for them. But 
It's just so stupid. These people, I've seen videos online on YouTube, people fighting over gifts, like, for a fucking plasma TV. It's like, are you kidding? You're going this crazy for a fucking holiday that you're about to buy a child? You know, you're fighting over a toy you're about to buy a child. It's nuts just to save, like, five bucks on each thing, you know? Obviously, there's some really good sales, but it's just, it just, it just became, like, um, a commercial holiday. Like, it's, you can't, yeah, Christmas I, I begins with Walmart, you know? Like, Walmart, and, uh, Best Buy is Christmas and, uh, at this point. Not Christmas, then time with family. It became yeah. a consumer holiday. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that word, not commercial. Um, but, I also hate the music. <laughs> I'm like the Grinch, dude. I hate fucking everything about Christmas. And, like, I, I liked it as a kid. I have to say, I did like Christmas as a kid. But then now, Christmas has been, like, no snow. I, like, Christmas is supposed to be snowing, you know? It's supposed to be snow on the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. And the last few Christmases, I don't think there has been any snow. I know, I think last year, there wasn't any snow until, like, January. Like, mid-January. But, um, sorry, you hear you're interrupting me in the background recording my voice. I gotta stop doing that when I do, when I do videos like this. Um, but... <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm, I'm running out of things. I'm running out of things to complain about for Christmas. But in the comments, uh, let me know what you think about Christmas. Um... If uh, you enjoy it yourself, if you have to run around to each family, what do you think about that? Um, it's just, to me, overrated. It kind of sucks seeing, like, people I don't really know, know that well, and I have to, like, put a fake face on, you know? It's just not as fun anymore. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I went 10-2 to this game. We won 4-0. to I'm freaking out in the background, apparently. Stay hairy, man, Dennis.